Hi, this is Steve with Knee Family Lights. Welcome back. If you find this video useful, like and subscribe. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at and check the specs of regulated 12 volt WS2811 pixels with four inch spacing and presumably 18 gauge wiring. There's four things that I wanna check in this. So first I wanna take a look at how much power is used when these pixels are on full brightness and how close they are to the specs. Second, I wanna test how much power is used as you drop the brightness down from 100 down to zero. On various forums, people have said that the power used drops pretty quickly and is non-linear, and so we'll see. The third thing I wanna test is how much power is used by these pixels when they're off, and are they truly off? And the last thing is, these are supposedly 18 gauge wire as advertised, and we'll see what they truly are. Okay, let's dive right in. Before we jump right in, I do want to say that uh, the community is excellent. You guys checked my work. I misspoke and mentioned 55 milliwatts when it should have been 550 milliwatts. Same thing for the 65. I should have said 650 milliwatts. So I will show that in the video when I need to make those corrections. Thanks. Okay, first we'll start with the test setup. I have here a Falcon F16 V3. I'll be using one of the power supplies in this top left corner, output one, and I've set the power supply at 12 volts, as you can see there. We'll be using this output right here. I have this little tester. These are the same voltmeters, uh, but I can put these right at the beginning and the end of the pixels. And I'm using these Wago nuts with pigtails. And there is a bundle of 50 pixels that we will use to test today. Okay, from this view, you'll see, we'll plug in the, the tester, which will measure voltage and current, and we will plug in the 12 volt pixels. So you can see there's no power being used right now. Once we plug these pixels in, you see them flash a little bit saying, indicating that they're on. And now we're looking at 11.9 volts and 0.13 amps gonna get you positioned in another place to make it easier to read. There. That's good. Okay, so here we are taking a look at the Falcon F16 control. This is showing my Christmas setup and we're gonna be using port number one. It's Mark Snowflakes. Uh, I have 350 pixels set up here for some testing, but we're only really using 50 of them. And you can see I've got the brightness set at 100%. Now let's switch over to X lights. And what I'm going to do is use this to drive white on the pixels. And we will then take a look and change the percentage from 100 down to 0 using the uh, Falcon setup. So the first thing on X lights we're going to do is go ahead and turn on white. All right, they're at 100% right now. And we can see that the voltage in the current is 11.4 and 2.73 amps. So as the power is being drawn, the voltage on the power supply drops. This is to be expected. So we'll fill all this into Excel and take a look at the results at the end. Okay, now we're gonna drop the brightness down to 90%. Save. As you can see, there it goes. 11.5 volts, 2.4 amps. And we'll just keep on working our way down. 80%. 11.5 volts, 2.14 amps. 70%. 11 1.6, 1.87, 60%. 11.6, 1.61 amps, uh, 50%. 11.7, 1.34 amps, 40%. 11.7, 1.08 amps, 30%, 11.8, 0.81 amps, 
As you can see, as we get to the lower brightnesses here, the voltage increases as there's less sag across the pixels. 20% brightness, we're at 11.8, 0.54 amps. 10% brightness. Significant difference to my eye. 11.8 volts, 0.26 amps. Okay, now let's switch over to Excel. Okay, now we have switched over to Excel. We're taking a look at a table that looks similar to other tables that I've made, showing number of pixels and projected uh, current draw for 12 volt pixels, assuming a 0.55 or 55 milliwatts of consumption per pixel. We're gonna be taking a look at the values here from 10 to 100% of the 50 pixels, and I have relayed out that in this table down below. So here we're looking at uh, 50 pixels, 12 volts, 55 milliwatt, assumption, 100% brightness. Here's the brightness level from 100 to zero. Here's the expected amps that was shown in the first table. Here are the actual values that we have just read off with the actual voltages. And the reason why I'm using the actual actual amps and actual voltage is so I can calculate actual watts. So since the voltage is dropping, the amount of actual power used kind of varies uh, based on that volt. So the, the wattage is volts times amps, and then I divide by 50 and figure out how many milliwatts of power being used per pixel. And this last column here is kind of a recalibration of the power being used, assuming 100% brightness of the actual uh, power per pixel. The other thing here is as we decreased from brightness of 100 to 90 to 80 to 70 and all the way down to 10, the actual amount of power used is linear. So it goes 100, close to 90 if we round all these numbers, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Third thing to note is when all the pixels are on off and we're expecting them to basically use no power, as we saw in the beginning of the video, it is drawing a little bit of current and against that voltage we're using one and a half watts across 50 pixels even when the pixels aren't doing anything that's five percent of the power being used on a continuous basis so just note that when you have what you think your pixels are off power is going to the chips and they're actually receiving zero signals a, a bunch of zeros in the in the communication data line so those chips are being powered um, I personally prefer to power down the controller and all the pixels when the show is not running, and this is one of the reasons why. You are using the life of the pixels, at least the chips, maybe not the LEDs, uh, but you are running uh, current through everything even if the show isn't running. So I personally pr prefer to shut down all, the, all those components and just leave the, the show player, the, the Falcon Pi player, for me is on a Raspberry Pi. So based on the calculations here, let's figure out how much power is actually being consumed per pixel. Um, right here it shows 62.2 milliwatts per pixel, but that's at 11.4 volts. If I were to look at the spec up here, our expected current is assuming 12 volts, which is a little higher, and uh, 0.55 watts. Let's change that to 0.65 watts, or 65 milliwatts. And now we're looking at expected amps that are much closer to the actual amps that were measured and our variances are, are close to zero here. So I'd say for these pixels that are rated for what I expected to be 55 milliwatts, they're actually 65 milliwatts, which is about 18% uh, more power consumed than I, than I expected. All right, let's switch over and take a look at how we can determine the thickness of the wires here for voltage loss. I'm going to interject in here one more time and let you all know that this method of testing for the wire gauge isn't the actual physical wire gauge. The physical wire gauge is probably thicker than what I show here, but what I determine is uh, the wire gauge if the wires were made out of pure copper, which we know they aren't. So the effective wire gauge is, is different than the physical wire gauge. So we'll continue. Now I'm going to switch over. We'll take uh, rid of, get rid of Excel and bring in the browser. So here we are taking a look at John Spiker's uh, pixel power calculation website. And for this site, we're going to select 50, 50 pixels, 12 volts. And let's go ahead and change 
the power per pixel to 60, 0.65 watts. Four inch spacing, 100% brightness. And let's take a look at this. So it's expecting 2.71 amps. That's very close to what we tested here. And let's do our own little calculations. Uh, down here, it's expecting the voltage drop to be somewhere around four and a half percent. And that is assuming that we are using 18 gauge wire. So let's switch over and take a look at um, changing this test setup so we can figure out if that 18 gauge wire is correct. Okay, we're back to looking at the pixels and I have one more of these test setups. So I've got a bunch of these spares I originally was planning to use these for all the controller builds, but after the first year of making my controllers, I realized they weren't as helpful as I thought they would be. So it just made the wiring a lot more complex. So we're going to run one more tester here at the end of these 50 pixels so we can measure the voltage. Okay, and I'll just set that up right there. Now we're looking at 11.8 volts. That's assuming no, no lights are being driven, so I wouldn't expect much voltage drop here if I can get that to stay. All right. All right, that'll be good enough. Going back into the controller, setting the string port to 100% brightness. Go ahead and go into X lights and turn the light back on. So at 100% full brightness, it's 11.4 volts at the beginning, 10.3 volts at the end. And we can take a look at the power calculation website to see what gauge wire this would be. All right, we're back in Excel. So at 100% brightness, the beginning of the line is 11.4 volts. The end of the line is 10.3 volts. Looking at a current of 2.7 amps. The amount of voltage drop across the 50 pixels uh, equals beginning minus end. Done that in your head. So 1.1 volts and the percent drop against the beginning is 9.6%. So let's switch back over to the Spiker Lights website. And assuming 18 gauge wire, The amount of voltage drop, if we look, scroll down to the bottom here, shows about 4.5%. Uh, we're, we're at 9.6, which is a lot more than 4.5, so let's increase the gauge here, which makes a thinner wire. Let's go to 23 gauge, which is my guess, and this is showing about 9.8, so it's pretty close. It's closer to 23 gauge wire. Let's check 22 gauge here. 22 gauge is about like eight and a quarter. So it's definitely more 23 than 22 gauge wire. So that solves it. 18 gauge wire for these pixels is really 23 gauge. So if you're using this website, um, definitely use 23 for everything, 23 gauge, and that should help you out. So in summary, we're taking a look at the specs of the 12 volt regulated WS2811 pixels. My assumption is that these are 55 milliwatts per pixel and were definitely advertised as 18 gauge wire. A first conclusion is that on full white with 50 pixels, the consumption ended up being 65 milliwatts per pixel. Some of that could be loss of energy due to the wire itself and not the pixel. Second thing is that changing the brightness levels is a linear change to the amount of power used. Uh, the, the pixels look pretty bright and oversaturated when you're above 50% brightness. When you're under 50%, the colors look a lot better. Um, myself and many others use 30% brightness in order to get some good color saturation. Third thing is when the pixels are off, they are using 5% of the rated pixels power. I personally prefer to power down controllers and pixels with timers. So it does two things, it saves energy and it also increases the useful life of your pixels. Um, and I leave my show player running full time. And the last thing, using John Spiker's power calculation website, we were able to confirm that the 18 gauge wire is actually 23 gauge. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Until next time, see ya.